am Heather from Hia Booktubes and today is my October anticipated romance releases. I have a migraine. I don't feel good. You got mascara, earrings, and a bra. You're welcome. So that's as good as it's gonna get. This is the only time I can film this. It's the only time I'm gonna be alone at home for several days and all the things. So um, we're just going to jump into it. If I seem off, I don't feel good. Now you know. Okay, we're gonna start off with one that actually is coming out later in the month, but that is Arcana by, or Arcana, I don't know how you say it, by Runix. And this was originally supposed to come out on September 27th, and I'm going to rant here for a little bit because this is certainly not the first time that this has happened, but once again, someone got a pirated copy, even though ARCs haven't even gone out for this book yet, and uploaded it, and because of that, the author got in trouble with Amazon, had to do all these things to prove that they weren't the one that uploaded their book somewhere else, and got their date pushed back, is not able to do pre-orders for six months. There's all there's so many things that they can they can completely lose their ability to sell their books on Amazon, but then there are also all sorts of other hoops to jump through. And if you know anything about Amazon's customer service to their authors it is not good it's difficult to get a hold of people or get issues solved so because someone stole the book and uploaded it we're getting the book a month late and that's the best case scenario <laughs> i don't know how to tell you how frustrating it is i know this this literally happened to another author that was in my uh august releases i think they almost didn't get their book up because someone stole it and uploaded it and they had to prove that it wasn't them. It's such a huge problem and it really discourages authors from even wanting to sell their books because it's so many hoops to jump through that can happen at the last minute every single time they put the book out and so much of it is outside of their control. They're doing all the things right and yet they might not be allowed to sell their book. And I just, I can't tell you how gross it is to me. So this is coming out October 24th now, and I hope you will support the author. This is a gothic, historical, dark romance with kind of some spooky elements. I'm really looking forward to it, and I hate that this is happening to her again. On October 4th, Peculiar Taste, which is the Kickstarter that several authors did, is out on Kindle Unlimited, and this includes the group book for Love in the Night, which is The Captain Merman's Promise by Zoe Castile. The one I am most looking forward to is The Demon's Bargain by Katie Robert. I don't plan on reading all of them. I will probably read those two probably the Mermans one before the readathon so I could participate in the live show since I am a host and probably the demon one sometime after I eventually read the Dragon's Pride <laughs> um, which I still haven't done. And on October 11th The Spare Man by Mary maybe Mary Robinette Kowal, wow, I did not write that clearly. It's coming out and I saw this uh, from Kristen Craves Books. She has a releases video and it was out before I did my notes for this or anything and I saw this book in her video so she's linked in the description. So this is kind of based on the Thin Man mystery movies which are old black and white movies which I loved as a kid. I am a sucker for that end where the detective like explains everything that happened. I just like that. <laughs> and this one, it seems to be a standalone. I couldn't find any indication that it was part of a series, but she is on her honeymoon and her husband is accused of murder and she has to prove that it's not him. And I think this is like a sci-fi thing. I can't really remember what all Kristen said, but I think they're like in space or an airplane or something like that and it sounded really good. It sounded like the type of mystery I like. I'm hoping there's some good romantic elements. I know Kristen pre-ordered it and so if she you know reads it in the next couple months I'm looking forward to hearing her thoughts on it. So I recommend that you follow her. I really enjoy her channel. She's a smaller channel um, but yeah I got this from her and I am excited about it. It sounds really good. 
And Jessica Gaziella has three different releases in October, or probably in October. We're going to get The Professor, which is Seven Sins Motorcycle Club number five. This is her demon motorcycle club. I need <laughs> to catch up. I've only read the first two in this series, and yet I want to read all of them, and I don't know why I haven't yet. It's truly a problem. I need to. I enjoy them. I'm excited for that. That should be out right in the middle of Love in the Night. And then she's publishing her next Golden Glades Henchman, which is the Motorcycle Club, a contemporary one. And then the one I'm most excited for is Love in the Time of Zombies. This is a novella that takes place with zombies. She had a zombie novella before. I really liked that first one. I thought it was great. It was Second Chance and I like Second Chance. I thought it was really good. So I think that this one will be really fun as well. Then on October 18th, we have Blood Moon by Jillian Graves. This is the author of the Gargoyle romance that went kind of viral and a lot of my friends read. It's still on my TBR. I still haven't read it. Don't ask me what's wrong with me, but that is a fact. This one is a over six foot tall plus size witch, a mind reading vampire, a grumpy heroine with a smart ass hero exhibitionism and voyeurism it's very kinky paranormal romance and I think the cover is stunning and I am really looking forward to it I want to read it I do want to read Titan first I don't know why I have it <laughs> also on the 18th we have Worth It by Lady Marie which is Whitney at Books With Me she has different usernames for different platforms but this is a mutual of mine i followed her for a couple of years now she's one of the hosts of hoathon i've watched many live shows with her just all sorts of things she's in been in reading groups with a lot of authors that i already know and enjoy tasha L. harrison katrina jackson arm virtues jack harman they've all been like mutuals and like nicole from who picked this book i know is really involved with like the writing and stuff so i have high expectations this is a contemporary romance and it is black love fake dating and a pessimist versus a romantic and the cover reveal is on weekend reader her instagram i believe will feature the cover i love Weekend Reader. I'm mutuals with her. I follow her and interact with her a lot so I would really encourage you to follow her for the cover reveal. We have very similar tastes in books. We have a lot of overlap so if you like my reading taste you will probably like hers as well. So yes this one I am interested in because I know the author so be aware of that. A lot of times when I am mutuals with an author I read their book and then became mutuals with them. That is not the case. This is her debut. I'm really excited for it and part of that is because I know her. So be aware of that disclaimer. My review will be honest. <laughs> also on the 18th we have Hollow's Grove which is Hollow Nights number four by Lee Jacquette. This is the author of The Four Leaf that Izzy has recommended a bunch of times. There was an Easter romance that is because Primal Play. I have not read this author yet. I have a couple of their books on my TBR. I have not read any holiday books in all of 2022 which is the first time that's happened since I started my channel but that is where we're at. So this is a Halloween one. I think it's gonna be a kinky romance. I think it's brother's best friend and he wants her to scream for him. I don't know but I do know I am very interested in picking this one up. This will probably be my first book by them. I have a couple of like their mafia books on my TBR. They sound they sound like my jam so then on October 21st, Sabbatical by Katrina Jackson is coming out. This is a professor romance. I think it's a standalone. It might be a sequel to Office Hours, maybe, um, which I have not read, so I'm truly unsure. If you are unaware, Doctor, I believe it's Doctor, Katrina Jackson is a college professor, and so this should be very interesting. I am looking forward to it. <laughs> And on October 24th, along with Arcana, we also have Ruthless Villains, which is Ruthless Villains number one by Miriam Blackwood. I saw a TikTok by the author and thought it looked really interesting. So you have a couple of villains who are enemies of each other, but they have to fight the heroes. They have to work together and they're like black mages. It is the first of a series 
and I thought it sounded really good. You know I like my villains, so <laughs> I really like the cover also. Then October 25th, The Stand-Up Groomsman, which is Don't Not Fall in Love, number two by Jackie Lau is out. I've been looking forward to this one all year. <laughs> this is the 5'6 fat Asian hero, and I am so excited to get a hero that looks like that, and I'm really excited about all the Asian heroes that I've read have still been tall and with six packs and all of the things, so I'm really looking forward to this one. I am not particularly into wedding settings, but you've got a couple of, I think they're enemies, one's bridesmaid, one's a groomsman, classic, but uh, they're both 5'6", and I'm really looking forward to it. I will read this one from the library, so I probably will not be able to get it for several months after it comes out, but it is out in October. I am really looking forward to it. On October 26th, Long Live the Elf Queen, which is the Elf Queen number two by J.M. Curl is out. This is one that the first book was one that I saw coming out and was really excited for. And my sister saw it in one of my videos and she read it and absolutely loved it. I do think that this runs more YA slash new adult. So I don't think that the first book has any steam really. I think it's a lot of tension, but you have a king and his destined bride and she's supposed to kill him. And he just like last when she tries to kill him and very jealous and possessive and she's still trying to kill him and I think it sounds great. I think the covers are gorgeous. I know my sister loved the first one and is really looking forward to this one. I still need to read the first one but it is still very much on my radar. It's something I'm actively interested in reading. And then lastly on October 31st Faith and the Dead End Devils which is Sweet Omega Verse number eight by Catherine Moon is out. I read Baby and the Late Night Howlers long before the Catherine Moon hype was a thing. The first book is still my favorite in the series. I haven't read all of them, um, but I am actively interested in this one. So it's Why Choose Omega Verse. I don't really know <laughs> anything else about it, but um, Catherine Moon is very hit or miss for me. Some I love, a lot I DNF. It's, it's up in the air <laughs> with her books for me, but I am interested in picking this one up and giving it a try. So that's all I have for you for October. Those are the ones that I know. I think Christina C. Jones will have one, but she hasn't announced what it is. These are things I do try to share in my Instagram stories. So if you're interested in following me there, it's in the description. It's Hia Booktubes everywhere. <laughs> So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.